Many colleges across the country are seeing a steep drop in their enrollments. Here at home, CUNY is part of that growing trend. And as CBS 2's Kevin Rincon reports, that could be bad news for the whole city. CUNY schools have offered New Yorkers economic mobility, but there are fewer students enrolling, and that has an impact on the city. When you have a drop in 100 students, you can pretty well estimate, you know, what that impact is going to be over the long haul. Daniel Lemons is the university provost. He says a big reason for the decline, the pandemic. Unemployment in New York is still double the national average, and that's a lot in the lower paying jobs, and many of our students are in those jobs. In the fall of 2019, 271,242 students were enrolled at CUNY schools. A year later, that number shrank by more than 10,000. In that time, CUNY's community colleges saw the biggest drop, going from nearly 92,000 students down to 69,000 just a year later. Kathleen Tan is a nursing student at LaGuardia. It's because of the pandemic, you know, that online classes are just, it's hard. It's not, it's not easy. She says virtual learning forced many students out, and it's not just here. A national study found undergraduate enrollment across the country was down 6.6% from fall 2019 to fall 2021. That's more than a million students opting not to go to college. Andrew Walker works at LaGuardia. People started looking at situations other than what education brings because there were job openings and I think people went to jobs. The hope here is that students will eventually come back. Community colleges are there to serve the people for a better cause, for a better life. I think they'll come back. For now, to try and help, CUNY is doing what it can to make it more accessible to come here. Whether it's getting their monthly subway pass or whether it's access to food banks or help with housing. And he says higher learning should always be about creating opportunity. On the east side, Kevin Rincon, CBS 2 News.